Hello, lovely one. Welcome. And let's solve this beautiful equation step by step. It's just so easy. So we're going to begin with uh, our solution. So let's take it down. We have 9 to the power of x plus 1 minus 9 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, what do you do at this point? I just want to remind you of some exponential rules that says for every a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it gives you a to the power of m plus n. Now, for every a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, it is a to the power of m minus n. For multiplication, it turns to addition of powers. For division, it turns to subtraction of powers. Now, when you look at this, you observe that it's already of this form. So we're going to take it back to this. And this is of this form. So we're taking it back to this for easy solving. Let's do that together. So we're going to now have 9 to the power of x. This will turn to multiplication. You have 9 to the power of 1 minus this will be 9 to the power of x. Subtraction sign, like we said, becomes division. So we can still write it this way. It's still the same thing. And it's 9 to the power of 1. And for everything raised to power 1, it's still the same number. So we are free to take this one off and also this. And this is a code. What do you think we should do next? Let's clear this 9 at the denominator. So to do that, we multiply each part by 9. So let's do that together. So we have 9 to the power of x multiplied by 9, then multiply by another 9 to clear this, minus 9 to the power of x divided by 9. Also multiply this by 9 is equal to 100 multiplied by 9. Interesting. Remember, this is 9 on 1. So we are free to take these two off, take them off. So let's keep simplifying. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for choosing to learn tutorials. We really appreciate if you are still new, hit that subscription button. And if you find this interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Now let's keep solving it from here to half. So this gives us 9 to the power of x multiplied by 9 multiplied 2 times according to your exponent is the same as 81. So this minus, this will now be minus 9 to the power of x is equal to multiply this, it gives us 900. Now, what do you think we should do next? You see that these two, uh, this is repeated. So we are free to factor out. In that case, we are going to have factor 9 to the power of x out. Use it to divide these two. When you divide this by 9 to the power of x, you see that it takes this off. You are left with 81. So here we have 81. Bring down your subtraction sign. Use this to divide this. When you divide a number by itself, it gives you 1. So here we have 1 is equal to 900. Now what do you do next? Let's keep simplifying this. So this is going to give us 9 to the power of x into subtract you have 80 is equal to 900. Now remember that these two are multiplying. So it's the same as 9 to the power of x multiplied by 80 is equal to 900. To remove multiplication, you divide. So we're going to divide this by 80 and also do same here. So this will take this off and we are left with 9 to the power of x is equal to 900 divided by 80. Now we keep simplifying from here. 9 to the power of x is equal to, let's simplify this. We have 800 divided 900, sorry please. We have 900 divided by 80. Now let's simplify. This will take off. So we have 90 on 8. We can also simplify. Use 2 here. Divide this by 2. It will give us 45. And divide 8 by 2. It gives us 4. So it means we have 9 to the power of x is equal to 45 divided by 4. So what do you do at this point? We cannot express this 9. This is already a fraction. So the easiest thing to do is just to take log of both sides. So we have log of 9 to the power of x is equal to log of 45 on 4. So what do we do in, again? Just remember, for every log of a divided by b, 
it's always log of A minus log of B. So let's apply this on the right side to have. This gives us log of 9 to the power of X is equal to, applying this here, we have log of 45 minus log of 4. So what do you do next? Remember, for every log of A to the power of X, the power multiplies. So it gives you X log A. Now we are going to apply this on the left side. If you do that, this X multiplies. So we're going to have X log 9 is equal to log of 45 minus log of 4. At this point, to get X, you divide. So we divide both sides by log of 9. You also do same here. And this will take this off. So we have X is equal to log of 45 minus log of 4 is divided by log of 9. Now, do you intend to leave it at this point? No, this is not yet simplified. Let's keep simplifying this to half. X is equal to, use this to divide each of the numerators. So we have log of 45 divided by log of 9 minus log of 4 divided by log of 9. So what do you do next? We have this as X is equal to, now 45, you know, is the same thing as 5 multiplied by 9. So we can rewrite this to be in this form. So if you do that, we are going to have log of 4, log of 5 multiplied by 9. And that is divided by log of 9 minus log of 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. So we can have 2 squared. And you also know that 9, this 9 is also 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. So we are going to write it for easy simplification. So we have log of 3 squared. Now keep simplifying. Also remember for every log of A multiplied by B, it gives you log of A multiplication turns to addition, so plus log of B. So we are going to apply it on this to have. So we have x is equal to, applying this here, we have log of 5 plus log of 9 is divided by log of 9, then minus. For this, remember we said the power multiplies. So it's going to give us 2 log 2 divided. This will give us 2 log 3. Now we keep simplifying. x will give us, use this to divide each. We have log of 5 plus log of 9. Divide this by log of 9. Do same here. And you have minus. This will take off. So we have log of 2 divided by log of 3. Now what do you do next? These two are the same. And when a, a number divides itself is 1. So this will give us 1. So we are having x is equal to log of 5 divided by log of 9 plus 1 minus log of 2 divided by log of 3. Now, this 9 is not yet simplified. We are going to simplify to have x is equal to log of 5 divided by log of 9, as we have said, is 3 squared. So we have plus 1 minus log of 2 divided by log of 3. Let's keep simplifying. So we have x is equal to log of 5, this power multiplies the log, so we have 2 log 3 plus 1 minus log of 2 divided by log of 3. Now remember that the quotient of this log is 1. And also remember, for every log of A divided by log of B, it gives you log of A base B. This is your change of base rule. So if you apply it here, it gives us x is equal to, this will give us half log, for this, we apply this. So we have log 5 base 3 plus 1 minus, do same here, we have log 2 base 3. Simplifying, finally, we have x is equal to half log 5 base 3. Let's bring this closer. 
minus log of 2 base 3, then plus 1. And this gives us the simplified value of x. Now, we are going to verify. Let's plug this x value on the left side of the equation to see if it gives us back 100. And that is the most interesting part I wouldn't want you to miss. Let's do this together. And don't forget to give us a like. And also tell us how you feel about this class. Let's do this together to have, to verify. So we're going to have nine. Let's work with this first. So we have, what we want to verify is this minus nine to the power of X minus one. With this be called 200 when we plug this X value. So let's work with this first. Then we do this and then subtract. Let's do that together. So we have 9 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to, so let's plug in. We have 9 to the power of half log 5 base 3 minus log of 2 base 3 plus 1. That is x. Then remember this add 1. So you add 1 again. So this is what you have. Now let's simplify this. So we're going to now have. This gives us 9. Remember, when you have subtraction of powers, we said you divide. And when you have addition, we say you multiply. So we are going to have half log 5 base 3 minus log of 2 base 3. Let's add this first, plus 2. So applying this rule of exponents, we have 9 to the power of half log 5 base 3. Subtraction of powers turns to division. So you divide by 9 to the power of log of 2 base 3. I hope you are with me. Addition of on the power turns to multiplication. So we multiply by 9 to the power of 2. Let's work this out. So this is the same as this 9. We can turn it to 3 squared as we've known. It's raised to power of half log 5 base 3 divided by this is also 3 squared is raised to power of log of 2 base 3 multiplied by 9 squared gives us 81. So we keep simplifying. This gives us, at this point, you are free to multiply the powers. For every a to the power of m raised to power n is a to the power of m multiplied by n. So multiply the powers. If you do that, you are going to have Remember, this is 2 and 1. So when you multiply 2 and half, it gives you 1. So this gives us 3 to the power of log of 5 base 3 is divided by, this will give us 3 to the power of 2 log 2 base 3 is multiplied by 81. Keep simplifying. 3 to the power of log of 5 base 3 divided by 3. Now, this coefficient, like we said, is the power of the log. And that gives us log of 2 squared base 3 multiplied by 81. So we are going to have... Now, remember at this point, for every a to the power of log of b base a, these two bases are the same. It gives you this number b. Now, if you apply it here, you see that these two are the same. So we are going to have, for this, we have 5 divided by... For this, these two are the same. We have 2 squared multiplied by 81. Now, what do you do next? This will give us 5 divided by, this is 4, and is multiplied by 81. So it means that for simplifying this, for 9 to the power of x plus 1, we have 5 divided by 4 multiplied by 81. Now, let's keep this aside. And work on this, then we now subtract the two. Let's do that together. So working on this, we now have for 9 to the power of x minus 1, we have 9 to the power. Remember our x, our x is half log 5 base 3 minus log of 2 base 3 plus 1. So we're going to plug this for our x to have half log 5 base 3 minus log of 2 base 3 plus 1. Then we have minus 1. Let's write it here. So this is what we want to simplify. So simplifying we have 
Let's take this off. So this gives us 9 to the power of half log 5 base 3 minus log of 2 base 3. 1 take 1 will give us 0. So this is what we have. Remember your subtraction of power turns to division. So we have 9 to the power of half log 5 base 3 is divided by 9 to the power of log of 2 base 3. Okay, simplifying. So we have for 9, it is 3 squared raised to power half log 5 base 3 is divided by 3 squared log 2 base 3. Remember we said we multiply the pass. So we have 3. This goes off. We have log of 5 base 3 is divided by 3. If this becomes a power. So we have log 2 base 3 and this is squared. These two are the same. We have this will give us 5 is divided by these two are the same. We have 2 squared. So it means that for 9 to the power of x minus 1, we have 5 divided by 2 squared gives us 4. So this is what we have for this. And for 9 to the power of x plus 1, we have 5 divided by 4 multiplied by 81. Now let's bring these two together. Subtract them to see if it gives us 100. So bringing this together, for this, this is what we have. So we are having 5 divided by 4 multiplied by 81. For this, this is what we have, minus 5 divided by 4, with this be equal to 100. So what do you do? Remember your PEMDA, so your board mass division, so you do division by 4 multiplied by 81 minus 5 divided by 4. This is over 1. When you multiply this, it gives you 405 divided by 4 minus 5 over 4. Denominators are the same. Subtract. So it gives us 400 divided by 4. And when you divide this, it gives you 100. And that is what we have at the right side. So in conclusion, we have x, which is equal to half of log 5 base 3 minus log of 2 base 3 plus 1 is absolutely correct, as you can see. And I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like this video, share it with others for them to learn with you. If this helps you, let's know how much. And I'll also be curious to see your own method. Thank you for always choosing to learn to us. And if you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot for you every day. See you in my next class. Bye.